well manufacturing process so dear students i would like to discuss about extrusion in this manufacturing process course uh, the third unit comes comes under the metal forming or mechanical working of metals in that in the previous session we have discussed about the forging process now another important uh, topic we can call it as a extrusion process so in this extrusion process what is the definition of this extrusion and how the extrusion can be used to for different type of application what are the classification of extrusion and uh, how the classification based on the application how do you uh, describe with help of the need sketch all the things will be discussed in detail in the extrusion process okay so this extrusion process comes under the metal forming or mechanical working of metals and at the same time this uh, third unit consists of under the course of manufacturing process which will be in the second year second semester the student may get okay so now let us see what is uh, meant by a extrusion and what are the classification of extrusion and what is the basic principle involved in this extrusion process and uh, how the various metals and uh, some of the pressure or capacity height and capacity of pressing which is to be used in order to change its shape and the size of that uh, component all these things will be described in this uh, video in detail okay now let us see what is extrusion so actually the term extrusion can be defined as it is the process of heating the metals above its recrystallization temperature and uh, can change its the shape and size by application of heat and pressure so here why you can call it as an hot extrusion generally the extrusion can be classified into a different types of extrusion one is the hot extrusion and the second one is the cold extrusion again it can be subdivided into a direct extrusion indirect extrusion and impact extrusion so these are the some different type of extrusion process where you can able to transfer the original section original crash section into a reduced crash section with the application of the pressure or uh, some uh, some more uh, tonnage capacity of the presses can be used to change the shape and the size and also the different type of materials also can be used to do this type of operation okay now let us see this is a three dimensional uh, diagram of uh, hot extrusion process this we can call it as hot extrusion the diagrammatic representation of hot extrusion so in meantime the term hot extrusion can be defined as it is the process of transferring raw material so the raw material it is in a heated so when it will be red hot that is why it is in a hot hot condition when you put into the workpiece after uh, reaching the melting temperature and you can keep it in this uh, die and by applying the pressure whatever the opening of die the changes of the shape and size uh, that shape only can be obtained but here there is no wastage of material exact the maximum amount of material can be uh, utilized whatever the amount for example 1 kg of raw material can be used the same amount of the product may be obtained different uh, say sizes and shapes Yes or no? So, where, where in the case of casting process, a uh, lot of wastage and uh, scrap and uh, reuse also can be done here. The exact uh, how much amount? For example, uh, a, a component having it is a uh, 10 grams of uh, workpiece. The same type of workpiece can be produced in the output. Okay, so that is why in this metal forming or mechanical forming process, wastage of material is negligible. And only thing is. due to plastic deformation the mechanical properties can be enhanced improved and so that the tensile strength and the compressive strength and some impact strength also can be obviously improved okay so this is what about the general basic definition of an extrusion 
So look at in this uh, three dimensional uh, sketch, even a layman can understand. So there will be a one chamber. So there will be a channel shaped chamber and uh, where you can put ram and between that uh, in a red shape, we can call it as this is a workpiece. We will call it as workpiece and there is a small opening we can call it as the die. Okay. And whatever the material you can fill it, you can uh, apply it and the final product may be obtained. The original thickness and after reduction, this thickness. So this you can see this, uh, this is T2 and this is T1. So how the transformation of T1 to T2 with the application of pressure. So when it is heated automatically, very less pressure can be used to change the shape. Obviously, that is why it is a hot extrusion process. In other words, hot extrusion or hot working process, wherever the metals can be heated above its recrystallized temperature, we will call it as a hot working or hot extrusion process. And when it is uh, below recrystallization temperature or at the room temperature, we will call it as a cold extrusion or cold working process. We will discuss the cold uh, working process uh, in detail for the next uh, couple of slides also. Now let us see the what is the major principle involved in the hot extrusion process, how we can able to produce a final component like a billet form in here, some small square rods and circular rods can be obtained with this hot extrusion process. So in general there are a lot of uh, ferrous or non-ferrous metals also can be widely used to in order to change the shape and size uh, and the position of the material. So especially in this hot extrusion process, uh, most of the metals like lead, copper, aluminum, magnesium having low yield strength so that where the extrusion temperature so that they are hot extruded. So where whenever this lead, copper, aluminum, and all, if you apply heat also, it may be melt easily so that they can keep it by applying a little pressure also, it can change its shape and size. And whatever the type of hot extrusion process, these are hydraulically operated. So where the size can be rated from the minimum is 250 tons to minimum is 250 tons to 5000, 5500 tons. Okay. So these are the uh, size uh, can be varies and here a lot of presses either mechanical or hydraulic or pneumatic press uh, depending upon our application uh, for cast uh, which type of process also can be used for this hot extrusion process. Hot extrusion process is consisting of two things. First you can heating and transferring or changing its shape. So whenever heating two process can be done and uh, when the heating is done with the some furnaces and all, after taking the workpiece in the red hot condition by applying your pressure with the presses, either it is a mechanical or a, uh, hydraulic or pneumatic presses can be widely used. But uh, in hot extrusion process, very less type of pressure, uh, type of equipment uh, can be used. Okay, so because already the materials can be elongated, some internal structures and grains can be refined and reformed uh, so that uh, with the little application of the pressure itself, we can change the position of the die. Okay, and most probably another important material like steel is the most extruded at the high temperature. Whenever steel can be uh, it is uh, more than 723 degrees centigrade melting temperature. Uh, obviously, it can able to use more than that temperature. So can that it is a solid state to a semi-liquid and liquid state may be obtained. And so that the shape can be obtained in this uh, uh, out, uh, outcome requirement of the uh, component. Okay. So this is what about the principle of extrusion process. While coming to the a nomenclature of this extrusion process. In general, first there will be a container. There is a container, C type or some channel type of container will be there. And this is the die inside. Die, die means uh, here it is square and what are the shape. So this is die. Okay. Uh, and uh, there will be a billet. So we have to keep the billet workpiece. So this is this is called the die. This is die. Okay. In the small op opening, you can apply the 
raw material this is called work piece okay so the work piece once you have to reach the temperature you can keep it while goes on uh, the temperature come reduction reduce it there so that the here red color to violet color to changes its temperature by solidification time by free air okay so this is what about the uh, extrusion and here there will be a ram so by applying the pressure the ram can be moved to the uh, billet form into a small opening die the final product can be produced this is what uh, uh, the principle involved in the extrusion process this we can call it as a direct extrusion or forward extrusion because the raw material and the output of the component also in the same direction then it is called the direct extrusion or uh, we can also call the forward extrusion the raw material comes left to right only so uh, the second important type is the indirect extrusion or backward extrusion so that we will discuss uh, uh, in the coming slides let us see what are the advantages and uh, limitations of the forward or direct extrusion so this is a general principle the diagram at a color indication that uh, even a layman can understand clearly the principle involved in this extrusion process how this uh, forward or direct extrusion can able to explain and the principle and how do you represent its advantages and limitations and uh, some of the major applications also we listed here look at in this uh, forward or direct extrusion process same thing this is the extruded metal so here there is a ram and uh, the workpiece uh, this we can call it as a metal uh, what type of metal either steel or copper or uh, whatever the metal can be kept with the heated in condition so this small opening called the die so what are the shape of the die uh, with the small opening only come out the extruded metal and uh, what are the large thickness can be converted into small thickness by applying the pressure uh, through ram okay so automatically so this is called the forward or direct extrusion why it is called forward extrusion we can take the direction of the raw material in the forward only there is no backward direction the material enters in one side leaves come the other side that's why it is a forward extrusion or you can also call the direct extrusion yes or no and here let us see it is also called the hot extrusion process whenever the heat is applied to change its uh, metal into a uh, form uh, semi liquid or uh, solid form and low force is uh, required to compared to cold working so when it is uh, discuss about the cold working there is no heating can be done that is why uh, that high force and a uh, lot of pressure is required to change it the small shape also okay but uh, in this hot extrusion process we are heating automatically inside granules refines uh, uh, grains can be eliminated oxidation also will be removed uh, so that uh, even by applying the little pressure also you can change the its shape and uh, here easy to work easy to work in hot form also but even there will be some uh, drawback in the accuracy dimensional accuracy is difficult to maintain some oxidation some uh, heated uh, flaws can be put in on the workpiece uh, again you have to eliminate that uh, some finishing also can be used uh, that also very very less uh, almost all uh, we don't have such type of component but uh, because of it is in a hot head condition handling the hot metal is somewhat difficult some experienced supervisor worker is only tackle the the hot metal into a proper uh, putting into the uh, cylinder okay so this product is free from the strain hardening that is what again by applying the pressure inside it is already heated they remove the all the internal stresses and uh, uh, granules etc so that if you apply more pressure it may lead to strain hardening or work hardening okay so that is why it is free from the work hardening and for every process there will be some of the limitations also is there as per this forward or direct extrusion process again there are three type of limitation that is what low surface finish what are the component made by this process the surface some uh, oxidize only can be formed okay so because of scale formation so some small uh, 
air particles and dust particles fell under the red hot material so that lead to some uh, scale formation we occurred on the extruded part so again we should do use some grinding process to eliminate such a type of uh, scale formation and here this is a high maintenance is required so why because we had to heat again you should maintain a proper temperature the maintenance should be uh, to do good otherwise uh, if the maintenance is not good uh, improper uh, handling of the metal it is the wastage of the material so that you can lose the heating charge and uh, pressing of the uh, machines also okay and here increase uh, die wear so because of the lot of pressure and heated metal inside the die after using multiple uses uh, due to some wear can be occur okay so that is why after utilizing certain number of components we can keep it for maintenance maintenance means we should apply some lubrication and some oil uh, so that uh, rust and all cannot be obtained in that case so so that is why these are the uh, basic principle of forward extrusion or direct extrusion and uh, these are the advantages uh, low force required when compared to cold working and easy to work in a hot form and the product is free from stain hardening or work hardening and all these processes have some of the limitations also it is a very low surface finish anyway you have a, some surface in what to compare to casting it is a better surface finish casting with some porous uh, and other handling also it may lead to a uh, not good surface so to have the good surface again there some of the machining process like lathe milling drilling can be performed so that to remove the excess material but in this uh, extrusion process even die itself highly qualitated high smooth surface will be there that uh, surface finish is good but only when you handling the hot metal so due to oxidation and scale formation only some small uh, defects may occur so that can be eliminated with the uh, free maintenance uh, finishing process like grinding etc but as the case of two operations uh, heating and uh, pressing uh, automatically the maintenance cost also can be improve uh, required why because even the furnace is not maintained properly again it is a wastage of time and uh, utilization of the metal and at the same time pressing machine also we should uh, maintain the uniform pressure how much pressure is required to change this shape to a some reduction shape that much pressure only can apply if you apply more pressure again it will come back to very reduced again it cannot be get back so that is why another drawback exact amount of pressure should be applied in order to change the what the amount of thickness what the amount of the width should be maintained okay so this is what about the forward and backward extrusion next look at the indirect extrusion or backward extrusion so this also comes under the uh, hot extrusion process only so in this uh, diagram you can see automatically here uh, there is a some uh, this is the die raw material also will be enter in this only it enters and it will come out of this okay so that is why in previous uh, direct extrusion raw material enter and raw material come out enter and out but here it is uh, entering again it come back so the, the, those are we can keep it raw material here so in this small opening this is the finished product this is the finished product inside raw material the pressure the opening die can be applied here so that uh, the coming it will come in the opposite direction raw material we are keeping the output is coming in opposite direction this is the way of raw material output is coming in opposite direction that is why it is a indirect extrusion or we can also call the backward extrusion process so this this provides more consistent in dimensions so uh, at the same time the grain structures can be formed effectively obviously because of the heating and uh, pressing uh, the mechanical properties also can be improved such as tensile strength compressive strength and impaction all these properties also can be improved so whenever in this indirect process doesn't have its trade offs so in the sense uh, here 
uh, even the quality of the output the quality also can be improved better and uh, for example because there is no friction at all so there is no friction anything of one surface of the billet can be affected the surface of the extrusion so okay in this uh, because of the uh, plate to plate uh, friction will be there here there is no friction almost we can keep the raw material inside the billet or die and when you apply this uh, uh, pressure it will come out through the small opening of the uh, die that is the final product of the die okay so this is what about the indirect or backward extrusion uh, i hope uh, the student can understand clearly about the uh, extrusion and types of extrusion and uh, most probably direct and indirect is the uh, most widely used type of extrusion and uh, only thing is in the direct extrusion uh, the direction will be same okay whatever the raw material come enter and uh, finished product will be coming in the same direction where in the case of indirect means raw material in the one direction finished product on the opposite direction that is the only difference in this Uh, forward or backward or direct and indirect extrusion another important thing is impact extrusion this is very very important so impact extrusion i hope the best example for impact extrusion is uh, toothpaste tubes so colgate uh, uh, pepsodent all this uh, paste tubes is there na that is made up of impact extrusion so here that is comes under the cold working process no heated uh, automatically it is at cool uh, uh, temperature or uh, in this room temperature by applying the pressure automatically can able to change the what are the flexible in nature of the collapsible to made up of the impact extrusion so even some competitive examination also they lost the uh, one bit one mark bit uh, the collapsible tubes made up of dash collapsible tubes made up of impact extrusion so why because it comes under the cold working process whatever the shape how we can uh, able to inside the air particles even the less amount of the uh, paste can be enter into this type of uh, tubes and all so that is why due to air and uh, some bulging can be uh, occur in this uh, uh, collapsible tubes and in this case what is the advantages major advantages of uh, this impact extrusion it reduces the material cost as impacting the process okay so here you can put the less amount by applying lot more pressure with the uh, time duration is less uh, it will elongate properly and what are the amount of blank can be kept uh, thickness can be reduced as per the force to be applied so if you apply less pressure less force uh, the tube will be come down huh? but thickness will be more when you wanted to thickness can be reduced you can apply lot of pressure should be given and also tooling cost also very less and it has a very long tool life because only thing is there is no heating can be done only by applying the pressure just by keeping the billet then by apply the punch Uh, due to pressing mission and uh, the it will be attached with the tube if it is a hollow tube uh, if it is a cone shape cone will come rectangular shape rectangle will come so what are the shape uh, polygon shape the polygon type of uh, shape may be obtained in this case so that is what you have seen in the colgate tubes collapsible tubes okay so this this comes under the uh, impact extrusion collapsible toothpaste is mostly widely used application in this impact extrusion and uh, the tool life will be very high you can able to produce uh, more number of products in this case and the production output output is also very very high so because uh, it comes under the cold working process hot working process means uh, heating can be done again pressing or forming can be done two process can be done at a time but here only one process by keeping the raw material applying the pressure so that the output production 
or productivity can be increased. High production output can be obtained in this type of uh, extrusion that is impact extrusion. And also the physical properties also can be increased. Physical properties also can be increased and there is a corrosion resistance or some uh, due to multiple usage uh, due to rust and some water form for particles uh, some uh, corrosion will be taken to the consideration that is why before using you should clean with the help of the lubrication and after using also you can apply a fuel or fluid uh, to avoid the rust or corrosion resistance okay and uh, another important thing is in this case high degree of forming in a single step at one step only even if you uh, take a one thing this is a sheet if you apply it how it is able to you see like that uh, even it is in a metal is in a uh, uh, plastic deformed stage so that if you apply it automatically whatever the shape attached with the thickness can be obtained in this collapsible tubes okay toothpaste collapsible tubes is best suited for the impact extrusion so this is what about the impact extrusion and uh, so far we have discussed about the extrusion types of extrusion that is uh, one is the direct extrusion and second one is the indirect extrusion and the third important thing is the impact extrusion which comes under the cold working process but in the cold working process there is no heating can be done only it can be done at the room temperature so that uh, the large number of pressure or uh, presses, large capacity presses can be widely used in this type of extrusion. So, the application point of view, all collapsible tubes like toothpaste tubes or some medicine tubes, uh, halo tubes and all made up of this impact extrusion process. Even production rate also very, very high in this uh, cold working process or impact extrusion process. But in the case of hot extrusion process, there uh, uh, production rate is, has been reduced. Why? Because in hot extrusion, two process can be done, then only can able to get final product. That is, one is heating and another one is forming. But in the cold working process, there is no heating. Directly you can put the sheet or plate or rod. Uh, they simply can apply with the help of the punch. So, whatever the shape of the punch, uh, the same shape can be applied in this uh, impact type of extrusion. Now, another important type of uh, classification in extrusion is the hydraulic extrusion. So, this is the one interesting. So, in majority of uh, examination point of view, either they may ask direct or indirect or comparison of direct and indirect. So, suppose if you wanted to give the paper to be tough, uh, they can go for the hydrostatic extrusion. So, this is a very similar to the direct extrusion or uh, forward extrusion and only thing is here some hydrostatic in nature some fluid so there will be some fluid some circle form hd uh, fluid uh, can be introduced here that is called pressurized liquid okay uh, that can be used fluid so that uh, that uh, extruded part can uh, how much thickness to be reduced in this case. For example, this thickness is T1 can be reduced by in the T2 with the fluid only. So, there is no plunger and all here, only direct ram. Can you apply the ram? So, this is the work billet, you can keep it and the shape can be opened. So, this lubrication in order to avoid the some rust formation, oxidization and all can be eliminated. So, look at uh, in this uh, hydrostatic process. The term hydrostatic uh, extrusion is a process in which the billet is completely circum circumscribed by the pressurized liquid. This is what pressurized liquid in all cases. Only uh, you should not use uh, a liquid exactly one place. Suppose sometimes uh, if you use only one side, uh, that only will be strong. Uh, obviously, at the corners, all the four corners you can able to apply and similarly, uh, it will transfer the at the end of the each block. So that 
the transformation occur effectively and here in this process can be carried out in many ways including uh, warm or cold or heat or hot at condition but the only thing is stability of the used fluid huh? uh, the temperature is limited so the hydrostatic exclusion has to be carried out in the completely sealed cylinder so that uh, the hydrostatic medium static means at a rest okay so because of that uh, uh, pt pressurized uh, uh, liquid form so so that uh, it will uniform uh, pressure may be obtained uh, uh, that can be easily transferred the thickness with this hydrostatic exchange process here another thing uh, you should able to understand the fluid may be present in the two ways only first one is constant rate extrusion and the constant pressure extrusion process what is the basic difference between a constant rate extrusion and constant uh, uh, pressure extrusion is ram or plunger is used for the pressurizing the fluid in the container only the moment of that uh, uh, pressurized liquid we apply ram or plunger that is what constant rate extrusion but where in the case of constant pressure extrusion means a pump with a pressure intensifier the term pressure intensifier can be defined as you can maintain the uniform pressure in order to get the uniform thickness okay so that is also based on the pressurizing fluid only will be taken into the consideration to maintain the uniform thickness so which is then pumped into the container and final output can be obtained in this hydrostatic extrusion also so this is what uh, another interesting and important uh, hydrostatic extrusion i hope from this diagram you can see clearly this is similar to direct or forward extrusion process why because this is the raw material so the raw material kept here okay the force can be applied and there will be a container and a small opening called die this is called extruded for final part what are the size or shape we can use that die only and accordingly you can able to develop the component with the work billet so this is what about the hydrostatic extrusion and there the fluid depending upon the fluid it can be classified into two type one is the concentrate container and second one is the constant pressure extrusion process where pump with the pressure intensifier is used for uh, pressurizing the fluid which is then pumped into the container so the basic difference from the direct indirect and this uh, hydrostatic extrusion the pt fluid okay so pressurized uh, fluid to maintain the uniform pressure by applying the this workpiece in this hydrostatic extrusion process and in this case also uh, the main advantage of hydrostatic is both are in the same direction uh, and also it it is it can be heated and cooled okay hydrostatic also uh, here also some maintenance will be required more and uh, the quality as per the quality concern here superior and good dimensional quality products can be produced in this hydrostatic extrusion but only the term hydrostatic hydro means water static means stable so how much the same table pressure should be applied in that uh, uh, workpiece so that only you can able to reduce the size of the uh, position of the workpiece okay so this is what about the hydrostatic extrusion so now i hope uh, the students can understand clearly huh? what is the extrusion and the extrusion principle with the help of the three dimensional sketch so where in the sketch consisting of a uh, initial product to final product and there will be a billet and the die is a small opening and a container is kept uh, in order to uh, cool the workpiece ready hotted Uh, or piece can be cooled so that uh, the final shape can be obtained and in this case uh, steel is the most extruded metal at high temperatures the remaining non ferrous copper 
and lead aluminum and also will uh, non ferrous materials only so there uh, that lot pressure is not required and uh, because of it is a non ferrous metal and can able to obtain uh, the clear shape uh, and the size with the application of the pressure and uh, this forward what i told here forward or backward forward means only the whatever the raw materials will enter inside and output also come out in the up, uh, outside okay material enter in material out so they don't come back to in uh, reverse manner okay so if you come to the reverse manner that is called indirect or backward extrusion okay so there is a cylinder you can able to put some little bit amount only so that you can maintain this uh, quality otherwise it is very difficult to maintain the indirect or backward extrusion process and uh, apart from that uh, impact extrusion i told uh, this is the one of the traditional type of extrusion process wherever you need some uh, collapsible tubes so obviously this prefer this method can be preferred and uh, it reduces the material cost as well as the uh, it will impact the process and typically 100% of the metal metal slug so nothing is wasted that is what metal working or mechanical working principle itself the negligible amount of material wastage that is very very small in microns level only material can be wasted occur until otherwise uh, if you don't have that material it is very difficult to danger at that time so that is why here in this uh, advantages of uh, impact extrusion it reduces the material cost and impacting process and typically uses 100% of the metal slug so nothing is weighted okay that uh, coming from the waste material from the industry that can be used as a raw material in this uh, extrusion company so that is what about the uh, impact extrusion and uh, finally hydrostatic or last extrusion where in this hydrostatic process uh in which uh, the billet is completely comprised by pressurized liquid in all the in all the cases with the exception being the case where the billet is in the contact with the die so this is the another important source for doing your work in a better manner okay so i hope uh, all the students can understand clearly about the uh what is the importance of extrusion what are the types of extrusion process and how it can able to applicable while uh, uh, doing this uh, extrusion process okay and uh, coming to this hydrostatic extrusion also some advantages some disadvantages will be there the first and foremost thing is advantages of hydrostatic extrusion is yes certain no? and in this case what will happen the major advantage of hydrostatic extrusion is uh, uh, no friction emits uh, the container and billet okay so there is no friction emits to the container and the billet that minimizes force requirement which allowing which which allowing higher reduction higher reduction ratios faster speeds lower billet temperature these are the very very important uh, where you can keep the the pressure and temperature and the usage of the component and uh, here another thing is on applying high pressure the ductile the metal is increases whenever we are applying the lot of pressure this uh, cross section can be excluded okay and uniform hydrostatic pressure inside the container which eliminate the requirement of billets being straight end and extrusion of the cold wire okay and finally every the process having a there disadvantages also in this uh, hydraulic extrusion disadvantages is majorly the billet have to prepared by tapering one end by tapering one end and so that it matches the die entry angle okay so this is what about the disadvantages and uh, another important thing is uh, which is essential for forming a steel at the starting of the cycle okay so in general or generally the complete billet is required to maintain the 
your removal of the surface defects removal of the surface defects okay and it can also defect to contain the fluid under effects of the high high pressures that is up to 2 gigapascal to 290 uh, say hmm, kilo ohms so this is what about the hydrostatic extrusion merits and demerits okay so thank you for this uh, session about the extrusion process and how we can able to uh, use the classification of extrusion process uh, where we can able to uh, understand clearly in the examination point of view and the complete examination point of view okay so in the next session i would like to give a uh, okay thank you so in the next class we will discuss about the rapid prototyping and the 3d printing okay like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates